Alright, so here's our, my first shot at a battle report. We have Tyranids versus Space Marines doing a battle mission called All Round Defense. Uh, we'll start going over the Tyranid army. We have a Turvagon as an HQ, plus two troop Turvagons, with two compulsory troop Termagant with the flesh board choices. We have two Hive Guard. We have the Parasite of Mortrex as one of my HQ choices. A ten squad of uh, Hormigaunts. Uh, a pair of Zoanthropes, 10 Gargoyles, and 3 separate heavy support choices for Carnifexes. Going over to the Space Marine side, we have one 10-man squad of Terminators with two Cyclone Missile Launchers. Counts as. We have a 5-man squad with a Cyclone Missile Launcher. We have 3 separate land speeders, each carrying Typhoon Missile Launchers and a Heavy Bolter. We have some proxy Devastator squads with missile launchers, two of those. We have two TAC squads with the missile launcher Flamer. And we have a Space Marine Librarian who is not painted yet, carrying uh, Null Zone and the Quickening, I believe. The table is set up with a Bastion as the center objective. And for this mission, we have given the Bastion a force field generator, which gives it a four up cover save against all shooting attacks make it a little interesting, a little narrative. And so uh, we'll come back with the deployment. Alright, so here is our uh, deployment for all around defense. We have a brood of termagants in this piece of terrain here. The Turvagon, surrounded by some termagants here. Over here we got Hormagons on the edge. There's a Turvagon, some Hive Guard, some Zoanthropes, and Gargoyles all behind pieces of terrain. Um, the Space Marines have deployed in what you'd expect. They got uh, land speeders in a circular formation around the building. Uh, you got Terminators all around three sides. You've got uh, combat squad attack Marines. You've got a Devastator squad on top. There's a Devastator squad in the Bastion along with the Librarian. And the Space Marines have won the roll for first turn. So we'll uh, check back after Space Marine turn one. Alright, so at the end of Space Marine Turn 1, you'll notice uh, where the Turvagon used to be, and uh, two squads of Gaunts, there's now only three Gaunts left on this piece of terrain. Uh, all these missile launchers in this general vicinity here uh, focus their fire, and there's no more Turvagon. And his explosion took out the Gaunts, along with a little help from some of the bolters off the Bastion. Former Gaunts are pretty much untouched, there's a wound on the Turvagon here, uh, Zoanthropes are no longer there, they got shot by missile launchers, and... Uh, Null zone negated their invuln saves pretty much. So, um, not much movement on the Space Marine side. And now it is my turn to hopefully do some damage. Alright, the end of Tyranid turn one. Uh, Hormagon saw, saw some combat with attack squad and uh, killed three, remained locked in combat there. Uh, did not get feel no pain off of my Turbagon thanks to the psychic hood nullifying the attack. In the shooting phase, I was able to immobilize and rip off some weapons of this land speeder. And the gargoyles that were once there are now in the dead pile because this five-man attack squad basically just wiped them out. And uh, so now we'll go to uh, Space Marine Turn 2 where I expect to lose a lot more uh, models. Space Marine Turn 2. The Hormagons have been cleared out in short order. The other Turvagon has been eliminated. He's no longer there. Uh, we lost some Gaunts. Uh, and other than that... The Space Marines have uh, pretty much held on to their ground. They lost one bolter, I believe, or a flamer. flamer. Lost a flamer. So now it is my turn, too. I get to roll for my reserves. And uh, hopefully some of these heavy hitters can come in and, and turn the tide in my favor. Uh, we'll see what happens. A uh, quick recap here. Things are going badly for the Tyranids. This is the end of Space Marine turn three. You'll notice they are holding steady at their objective. Uh, and you will notice a severe lack of Tyranid models on the table. Uh, we have three Gaunts falling back here at this uh, leftmost edge, and we have no Gaunts left in this uh, piece of terrain, and all I have left are my reserves. I've got three Carnifexes and the Parasite of Mortrex in reserve. Um, so we'll see if uh, they can do any damage before the game is over at turn uh, whenever. Alright, a lot happened in turn three that I would like to see happen in turn two. I got my Carnifexes and my Parasite of Mortrex. Um, he's dead now. Um, but on his way out, he killed the Terminator and spawned some Ripper Swarms, um, which was kind of cool. So now I've got uh, three Carnifexes that he has to deal with, with most of his army. 
I was able to cause a morale check with these Space Marines. They'll continue falling back. But I've got to deal with two, four, six, uh, way more missiles than I care to count next turn. So, uh, turn four, uh, Space Marines may be the end game. We'll see what happens. All right, we are at the beginning of the Tyranid shooting phase of turn four. Um, the turn four shooting phase for Space Marines was abysmal. Uh, of the 25 plus missile shots, only four found their target, and there's one dead Carnifex, and the other two are unscathed. Uh, the Rippers ate part of their squad this uh, start of the match, but they're still good with three bases left. And I have got a lot going against me, but I want to fight it out till the end. Points, actually. All right, so uh, Tyranid turn four. Um, I'm playing for a draw at this point. I have a Terminator tied up with some Rippers. I have a Carnifex uh, with one wound remaining tied up with a single Terminator. Uh, I got an unwounded Carnifex just sitting here in the open waiting to get shot at by all these missile launchers. And uh, Space Marine turn five is coming up. And uh, then we'll have to do a roll for random game length and see how it goes. All right, and the game ends on Space Marine turn five. Uh, the Tyranid threat has been completely wiped out for now. Um, they will respawn as time goes on and uh, assault again, but, but for now the Space Marines are celebrating a well-earned victory with minimal casualties. Um, so good job to Brian and uh, hopefully there'll be more battle reports to come.